name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to this celebration this morning that the Lord has given us. Today, in the first reading, we are going to hear Prophet Isaiah that waiting for God, looking for God, he didn't recognize him in the earthquake, wind, tornado, but in the little breeze, in the calm. And in the gospel, we are going to hear Jesus walking on the lake, on the waters, and Peter trying to follow him, but doubting him. So it's a good time for us, especially during this crisis, to really be sure that God, Jesus, will never let us go. That even if we were sinking in desperation, He is still firm to save us, to be with us. And to celebrate these sacred mysteries in a little moment of silence, we ask God for forgiveness for our sins, especially when we go away from His love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed very ever, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May your mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Can we sing the glory, please? ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the reading. first book of the kings at the mountain of god horeb elijah came to a cave where he took shelter then the lord said to him go outside and stand on the mountain before the lord 
the Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not on the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire, but the fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear that God proclaims the law the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed in is his salvation for those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The ki kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Please stand. For the Lord, my soul waits for his word. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. To After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went out to the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening and he was there alone, Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a, host, a ghost, they said, and they cry, cry out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they go into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I 
un poquito en español, salen los chistes mejor en español que en inglés. Anyway, este evangelio me recordó un chiste, ¿verdad? Que cuando Pedro empezaba a hundirse, Jesús le gritó, pisa en las piedras, Peter. So, step on the stones, you know, anyway, it was a chiste. <laughs> it was a good one. Anyway. Uh, so now, going back to the first reading, it is really amazing and how true it is, especially, I would say, for the ones who, like me, we are a little bit not that younger. We are more wiser and un poquito viejitos también. And we have realized that, uh, yes, if we really want to find God, we will never find him on the noise, on the excitement, on the you know, pursuit of many things. And when we little by little start setting him down, understanding better life, understanding better uh, family, uh, f friends, wife, husband, children, then we realize that really to find God, we will never find him outside. The only place that we will find God, through God, is here in our hearts, in the deepest of ourselves. And also many saints, many people throughout our history have shown, shown us that. And, you know, the one I want to mention is St. Francis of Assisi. There are many others, but I think he's more known by many of us, and also we have seen, I hope, his, uh, one of his movies, you know, about his life. Uh, of course, he, didn't, he doesn't kill anybody, and he doesn't become the hero, right? Uh, so, the life of San Francisco of Assisi really is amazing and interesting, and really helps us to understand that in the same way that he, when he was young and strong, and he was quite rich and powerful because of his family, especially his dad, you know, he tried to conquer, to get famous, to get money, but, you know, he got caught, he was, you know, in prison for quite a long time, then he came back, and then, you know, he changed completely his life. And his life really shows us that really to find God, uh, it is in the meditation and understanding of what God wants for us. And he understood that what God wanted of him was to once again help us understand that what God wanted us and still wants us is to be gentle, to be humble, to be loving and accepting not only human beings, but everything that surrounds us. And also, St. Augustine many times said on his writings that, you know, our hearts will be always, always running, running, running until we will rest on him. So the imitation of the first reading is really to try to find God, but the real God that is inside of us, in the silence of our hearts. And in order to do that, of course, it's good, Sunday Mass, it's good to go once in a while to confession, but again, the invitation is the same invitation that our Pope uh, Francis told us since he started to be in our Pope, to have that personal relationship with God, with Jesus, every day every day to look for a small moment of silence, a small moment of quiet. And there we will see, we will feel and experience the presence of God. Of course, it's very challenging for us. If before we had the radio, we had the TV, now we have the tablet, now we have the cell phone, and sometimes it seems impossible to cut all that noise from our lives. But it is possible, and actually it is healthy to stop being, quote-unquote, connected with everybody, with the whole world, except with us. And we need that, to disconnect from everything, and to connect us with our hearts. Challenging, but possible, and especially necessary. 
So hopefully we'll learn from St. Francis of Assisi, many other saints and people, but at the end, there we can find finally peace. Then we can rest. Now, about the gospel, about, aparte del chiste de pisar en las pedritas, the invitation today is to think and reflect what is sinking you in your life. What is making you doubt about God? What is really keeping you from trusting Jesus, from trusting God? I went, you know, I put in the Google, it says, so what are the, thi the 10 things that hum hum humans are more afraid? Of course, there is uh, all the phobias, the insect phobia, the snake phobia, the dentist phobia, I'm afraid of the dentist. Flying, you know, you can check it out. I think one of the ones they're missing is that your uh, wife will find out what you are watching on your cell phone, you know? <laughs> I think that is a phobia for many now, <laughs> or husband, you know? Anyway, so but the question is, what is keeping you from trusting, believing in Jesus? What is sinking you in your life? Well, it can be the crisis, it can be the virus, can be finances, but what's sinking you? And then if you identify what's really sinking you in your life, doubting from God, then during this week, ask God, reach out to God like Peter. Save me, Lord. Of course, Jesus will tell you something like to he said to Peter, you know, Jesus was straight. Say, you little of little faith, why you doubt it? But he will you know, reach out to us and save us. And, you know, the good challenge also is really to understand and identify the thing or things that are sinking us. Because the moment we know what it is, then we can ask God to help us. Then we can start liberating us from that that is really impeding us to believe, to trust in God. Amen. Please stand. So you will answer to the next questions I do. Brothers and sisters, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Brothers and sisters, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried? rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Please repeat after me, this is our faith. This is, our faith. This is the faith of the Church. This is the faith of the church. We, are we are proud to profess it. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. We seek to emerge from our own often short-sighted concerns and join ourselves with the anxieties of the whole human family. We turn to the God who is present in the midst of our every fear. That all of the people of God will find the courage to proclaim God's will for humanity and come to recognize that God has done for us is sh sheer gift. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the nations of the world and their leaders will recognize the progress the world community has achieved and will resolve to build up on the principles of the progress. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are consumed by fear that they will find in their various relationships and communities great sources of courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who are barely getting by because of poverty or disease will discover generosity and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are preparing for studies of whatever kind will allow the spirit of divine wisdom to grasp and enlighten them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the resurrection of all who have died, especially for those who have died recently and for all those whose anniversaries have occurred, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We are also praying for the um, health of Faith Dickerson and the well-being of the family Topete, also for Celeste Moreno, uh, I could say, uh, cumpleaños and also Oscar and Angie Moreno and the 23rd uh, wedding anniversary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our deceased brothers and sisters, especially Rafael Rico Carrillo, Asensio Duarte, Sarai Gonzalez Betancourt, Miguel Acevedo y Alicia Garcia. May the Lord forgive their sins and bring them to his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Also for uh, Lebanon, especially the uh, city of Beirut, all the people who suffer uh, because of the explosion, we pray for them, for their society, their communities and families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In a little moment of silence, we present to our Lord our own personal petitions and prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your son who held up Peter when he was fleeing in the sea, carries in, the, in his heart all the anxieties of humanity. May we who, like Peter, are so often overcome with anxiety, reflect on the gift of Jesus, truly God and truly human, accepting the gift of his body and blood and opening ourselves to the Holy Spirit who binds us together and give us peace. We ask this through Christ our, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated to continue our celebration.
For I, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you lay the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man and woman in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all is wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, light the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be of her to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Together we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With and your with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace with you. and sisters who are at home we are going to do now the act, act of the spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at last spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and united myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. For the ones who want to receive Holy Communion, please answer the body of Christ.
announcements for this uh, coming week. The first one, as we said last uh, week, uh, our school is, you know, opening classes beginning August 26, and um, it, it will be with at home distance learning program. Our distant, home distance learning program provides a high quality, balanced, and personalized instruction that, you know, it includes daily Zoom classes, personalized instruction with teachers, free use of a school device. You know, the children can take home one Chromebook or an iPad. We are going to borrow them if they don't have at home. Also, weekly faith formation and school spiritual spirit activities, social emotional learning, and also par parent support. The school will be offering uh, the next evening walks for re registration and information. So Monday to Thursday, August 10 to 13th, from um, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then the following week, Monday to Thursday, uh, 17 to 20th, uh, the same, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Also, we have online registration. Uh, it's also available. Oh, please visit our website, www.stphilipneri.net. Um, also, you can come in the morning if you work in the evenings and afternoons. We are open on Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 noon. Or you can contact our office at the rectory. So, more than ever, I think that Catholic education, Catholic schools, we have really good advantage, and now we're well prepared to really educate uh, your children. So hopefully you will consider to uh, register your children with us. Also, about catechism, we decided to do registrations until uh, January 2021 because, you know, now it's a little bit complicated to have classes of catechism. So um, we'll wait until January. Hopefully we'll have different situation in our world, in our society. So that's why we are going to wait until January. But if your child or children needed to receive Holy Communion or Confirmation or any sacrament this year, please contact us if we haven't called you because it is uh, important that your child or children receive the sacraments that they already uh, were prepared for almost two years. Now, there is good news and bad news. Um, the bad news is that Father Jorge Luis, he is leaving us. He will be moving to uh, another parish here in, uh, in LA, Balinda. I don't remember the name of the parish. Um, so he's a very good priest, a very helpful, very uh, good person to work with. But uh, the good news is that one of the priests that were, was ordained yesterday, I don't know if you knew, yesterday we had the LA ordinations, so one of them will be joining us. Um, uh, his name is Luis Reyes. He's a, a Filipino-Americano, Americano-Filipino, how do you say? Filipino Americano, I mean, his family is uh, from the Philippines. Uh, uh, so, and you will have a, that's a, a, other, another good news, you will have a break from me in English Mass. So, because he's very good in English, uh, he will be suffering a little bit with the Spanish, but uh, we're going to feed him every day with uh, beans and nopales so that he will learn Spanish fast. A little bit of tortilla. Uh, so we are glad um, when they called me from downtown, I told them, are you sure you want to send it with me, you know? Because it's big responsibility, it's a big gift to have a newly ordained priest. So, si lo educamos bien, derecho, good. If no, later. No. Anyway, our community is great, it's amazing. So I think he will have a very good time and experience here. So uh, we will pray for him. This afternoon, I'm going to his first Mass in um, St. Mariana de Paredes in Pico Rivera. That's his home parish. So we're going to go uh, this afternoon, 5 p.m. So pray for him, pray for us, that 
will really help him to be a holy, humble priest. Okay? Very good. And for, the, for other information, please uh, go to our webpage, espineri.com. And uh, I think that's it for the announcements of today. Thank you very much for uh, continuing coming and being faithful to this celebration and also respecting all the rules. Please stand. Also, I forgot um, to mention and to really wish